And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Most of the rain has moved out of the area, and we are starting to see a couple of peaks through the clouds at the blue sky. You can see that here in the uh, WLFI tower cam right now. Looking at satellite radar, you can see most of the rain has dissipated. We do have some rain off to our north that uh, will continue into the viewing area. But uh, this line of clouds right here is starting to make its way further to the east and give us a couple of uh, peaks at some clear sky. There is a couple of clouds uh, right behind this uh, this kind of break in the clouds that will come into the area. But looking a little further out at the broader picture, we have this low up here in Canada. This had that cold front associated with it that generated all of those, uh, all of that rain that we had this morning. And then we have a low pressure system out here in um, uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Then this will come down into our area tomorrow and bring us a couple more chances at a few showers. But generally speaking, we are looking pretty good for the rest of the day today. I'm zooming out a little bit to look at Hurricane Lee. Right now it is a category three hurricane. That is a major hurricane. It looks like it will continue to move off to the north before becoming a, a post-tropical depression and impacting what looks to be uh, Canada and Maine. And the reason I bring this up is because it will have an impact on our forecast a little later. Now looking at current temperatures, we are at 67 right now in Lafayette, 68 in Attica, 69 in Pine Village. You can tell where the clouds have broken up and where they haven't. Where there are, uh, where there's still cloud cover, they're sitting in the mid 60s, but where the clouds have dissipated, they're getting further up into the upper 60s and will continue to have that upward trend over the next couple of hours. We're at 67 right now here in Lafayette, 59 degree dew point. Winds are from the north at nine miles an hour and it is mostly cloudy currently. And looking at sustained winds, we are uh, a little gustier than we were earlier. We're at nine here in Lafayette, seven in Attica, 10 in Covington, nine in Morocco, uh, six over in Logansport. Now looking at the afternoon planner, we're gonna be at around 68 degrees by 1 p.m. Clouds will continue to thin throughout the day. We'll be at 71 by 3 p.m. Those showers off to the north will build up some and give us a very small 10% chance of some rainfall. We'll get down to 58 by 11 p.m. Notice that we've got clear skies. That's going to be important. So we see those showers to the north coming into the area. Very sparse. They'll move out, but we clear out. Uh, we have the cloud cover clears out overnight, which will let our temperatures plunge. We still have some humidity in the area, and when you combine the two of those, that's a perfect recipe for dense fog. So tomorrow morning. If you're headed out for work, just be aware you will have uh, quite a bit of fog out there. Should dissipate by around nine in the morning and then we'll get that second wave of just a couple of little showers. I'm only expecting about a 10% chance of rain, but then that'll move through. We clear out again Wednesday night. We drop even lower in temperatures and then we have another fog risk for Thursday. Looking at the high pressure right here will give us much better uh, conditions in the area and that's going to be forced to stay there by Hurricane Lee over here. So looking at the seven day forecast, we're at 71 on Tuesday, 71 on Wednesday, a couple isolated showers, perhaps 72 on Thursday with some AM fog, 75 Friday, 77 Saturday, 73 Sunday. That's our next best chance of rain. Then Monday, 73. And in the 10 days, it looks like we could have a little bit of a warm up come next Thursday. All right. Well, Dave, or Jacob, you said it. We were going to get some rain uh, yesterday and this morning, and we got it, but hopefully uh, dry for a little bit and feeling like fall now. It is. Yeah, it feels pretty great out there. Yeah. It's Humidity's a little high for my yes. liking, but uh, overall, it feels great. Yeah, it does. All right. Thanks, Jacob.